Welcome, my fellow and future potatoes, to the laboratory. We are going over sorting and storage today. So, you have just started your auto asteroid catching endeavor, and the resources, man, they are coming in. You want to be able to sort them. This is what I use and have found to be a good, easy way of sorting. Your resources come down the line and into your pushers. Your pushers then push that resource onto a different line, like so. So, the carbon will be pushed on carbon, copper on copper, iron on iron. This is what the belts look like with no pushers. Pretty simple. One line going in, five lines coming out. That is what I have found to be the easiest storage for me. And then we move to these chests. These chests are actually pretty important and I recommend having them. They provide a good buffer in case this line or this line gets full and is stopped. So it'll always keep one, if not both, lines moving at the same time. Then your resources are ready to come out of there and go into your production area. They are coming out and getting sorted. I mean, they're already sorted and they're going into the smelting. So we have copper, iron, and gold getting smelted for this. And they are coming down the line and into your storage area. For storage, um, for the kind that I like, you do need signal. And this is how we store them. So I have a little example here and then we'll get into um, what I currently use. You are using an inventory sensor to identify what is in a storage and how much of it is in a storage. And then you connect it with a decider to decide if that resource is going to flow or not. So one thing for this, the line, this block should be facing towards the storage. Otherwise, no matter if the pusher is active or not, the resources will continue. So just remember that one. So to set this up real quick, we actually take some dirt from here. We will do it here and we'll do it over there too. So your inventory sensor. It does not need to be next to the inventory. It can actually be pretty far away. Um, so we'll just put it here. We'll put the decider next to it and a pusher block here. So we are going to click this to Pick your device, and we're doing dirt. The decider is deciding if this pusher is moving or not, and like I said, we have to make sure that this belt is facing that way. So then you connect these with your signal cable, and you decide how much you want in your inventory before it starts pushing. Oh, no, sorry, greater than. So if your inventory has more than a thousand dirt, it will start pushing it into your next area. If it doesn't, it'll stop. So if we put a thousand and ten dirt in here, it'll push the ten and then it will cut it off. Just like that. You have exactly a thousand. You have nine here because it's stopped one. So that is how I like doing the storage. Now we'll get into the building store or base warehouses. This is my current setup for storage and we will go through it right now. So you will need, first you'll place down a filter and your pusher, that pusher block does need to be facing the other way. You have the filters there to make sure the resource you want is exiting the port 
that you want it to exit. We have iron, copper, and carbon. Iron, copper, carbon. That is filtered. All right. So then we go up to our network here. And you do have to have line of sight with these blocks. It can't be blocked by anything else, even railing. So we want to get our deciders hooked up. One, and that is iron, I believe. Two, copper. And three, carbon. Make sure you are getting the pushers uh the filters will just not filter then so you don't want that so let's just do 20 20 and 20 so you know when you're building you will want more than these 20 resources in there but for this it will work the reason why we didn't have a base warehouse here is because you do need that line of sight for the third one here it will not go through this even though you can see it so then we pick our inventory sensor pick the device and click the resources that are inside of it so it's going to be iron copper and carbon now we can go ahead and hook these up like so now the inventory will fill with the 20 and then they will push out into the lines just like that you'll see that it will keep that exact number and then these can be used elsewhere in your production line or anywhere else you might need them but that will keep a good buffer for your resources. I hope that that demonstration was useful for you. And if you have any questions, please let me know. If you have a better way of doing this, also let me know. I'd love to try it out. If you would like to see more Astro Colony, you are welcome to check out my channel. I have this systems currently going. We have quite a bit going on. You can see all my sorting going on under there into my lines, and finally into the storage system that we just went over. So, I hope that you all have a fantastic day, and if you would, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one.